What's up, everybody? Back at it again to another video. Watching 10 worst Black Friday disasters everywhere, man. Wherever you live, y'all already got a Black Friday disaster. Y'all already got that store that everybody likes and shit. That whole be packed as fuck. And uh, what is what channel I'm watching from? This is from the riches, and they make you know some some good channels and good theories and stuff like that. So you know, check them out. Please like this uh, the like button and comment down below. So let's go ahead and hit this video. Black Friday is known for its outrageous deals and people are willing to do anything to get a piece of the action. Whether it's skipping Thanksgiving, pepper spraying customers, or even trampling store employees, Black Friday has become deadly. Here are some of the worst Black Friday disasters. Before we begin, subscribe to our channel for more holiday content coming soon. Brawling the Night Away in 2014, in Tustin, California, a group of women got into a physical brawl at a Kohl's after 1 a.m. on Black Friday. Two of the female victims had cuts on their faces, one had to be taken to the hospital, while the other didn't need medical attention. After the fight, police were able to track down and arrest three female suspects who were responsible for the brawl. Why the fight happened was unknown, but given the time of year, it was probably over some discounted product. Balloon Drop In 2006, at the Del Amo Fashion Center in Orange, California, someone in management thought it would be a great idea to drop over 500 balloons in the middle of the shopping complex. Inside the balloons were gift certificates for stores in the mall. Over 2,000 shoppers were present for the Black Friday event, and it was a disaster. People were injured, and an elderly woman ended up having to go to the hospital. No! Drunk Driving in 2012, in Covington, Dang. Washington, a couple was in the process of walking into a Walmart on a Thursday evening to get a head start on Black Friday shopping when disaster struck, literally. A 71-year-old man in a U.S. fee was driving drunk and ended up pinning the woman under the car, and the man landed on the hood. Black Friday shoppers nearby rushed to help the couple. Given the amount of people waiting outside the store, the situation could have been a lot worse. Pepper Spray Attack at a Los Angeles Walmart in 2011, over 20 people, including children, were pepper sprayed by a woman during the store's nice. Black Friday event. This woman was simply walking through the store and pepper Yo, spraying anyone who got in the way of merchandise she wanted. This ended up causing fearful shoppers to get out of the way and the spray hung in the air so almost the whole store was coughing. The woman wow. managed to flee in time before authorities arrived. Crush Child what? In New Boston, Ohio in 2013, an 11-year-old girl along with an elderly female was trampled at a Walmart on Black Friday when the doors opened. The doors had opened early on the evening of Thanksgiving and the incident happened around 8 p.m. local time. According to witnesses, crowds had gotten out of control and there were several more trampled as well, but their injuries weren't as severe. Black Friday Crash in 2011, a 36-year-old Target employee was driving home after working her overnight Black Friday shift when she fell asleep at the wheel. Her car ended up falling into a canal and she was trapped inside because she couldn't swim. The work Wait a minute, where was she at? Was she was in the parking lot or something? How the hell you get all the way to a lake? Think about it. How the fuck you get all the way to a lake and you sleep? Somebody must have set your ass up. The first part of this story was that a crowd gathered to watch, but no one tried to help the woman. Police were called around 7.30 a.m. and they rescued the terrified woman. Sadly, this story repeated itself in 2013 when a father crashed his car after shopping all night with his wife and four daughters. The crash ended up killing two of his daughters and injuring a highway patrolman. Ignoring someone in need. 
In November 2011, 61-year-old Walter Vance was a Black Friday shopper in West Virginia who collapsed in the store from a heart condition. Instead of checking on him or even helping him up, shoppers proceeded to step over him, seeming to not even notice there was someone in desperate need on the floor. There happened to be six nurses in the store who eventually stopped and helped him, but Vance ended up dying in the hospital. Yo. Walmart trampling. Yo. In 2008, at a Walmart in Valley Stream, New York, over 2,000 people gathered in anticipation for the 5 a.m. opening. Once the doors were unlocked, people flooded in while pushing and shoving anything that got in the way, including a 34-year-old maintenance worker named Jim Ty Damore. He ended up getting trampled along with four other people, including a pregnant woman. <laughs> Police were called and officers were still getting trampled trying to administer CPR. Sadly, Jim Ty Damore died from his injuries. Dude. American Eagle Murder in 2014, in Dallas, Texas, Ashley Harris was an assistant manager for an American Eagle Outfitters who was beaten and for death in her apartment what? after she finished her Black Friday shift. No. She was murdered by two former employees who stole her keys and proceeded to make their way to the store so they could steal $50,000 worth of store merchandise. 25-year-old no. Carter Cervantes and her boyfriend, 19-year-old Clarence with capital murder. Toys R Us Are you shooting. serious? On Black Friday in 2008, at a Toys R Us in Palm Desert, California, witnesses said they saw two women getting into a shouting match and then started physically fighting. Each woman had a man with them and they both got out their gun. Bro, really? In the kid's store? Toys R Us, bro? Yo, this shit is going... Shit crazy, bro. Now, 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 now I see why people, you know, want to buy stuff online and stuff like that. Why I keep on saying offline, but it's online. But anyway, that's, you know, that's kind of fucked up, bro. And, like, you know, like, you, you trying to get your shit, you know. But I'd rather do the online, but sometimes the online be a scam, too. So that's not safe either. But, I mean, shit. I mean, that's a disaster right there. Guns ...and started shooting at each other, eventually killing each other at the checkout area. The saddest part of this story is that both sets of couples had their kids with them, and the kids pretty much watched their fathers die. Do you go Black Friday shopping? Please be safe and look out for those around you. Please Everybody be careful with this shit, bro. This shit is wild as fuck, bro. People are dying. This is... Black Friday shit, bro. Whole fucking crowd, bro. When you hit to any store on Black Friday or something on some store you actually like, that much like a fucking big ass concert. Concert. But anyway, make sure y'all like this video. More videos are coming. So just stay tuned and everything. Please be careful and happy Thanksgiving and everything. Make sure y'all eat. <laughs> Peace.